and I'm sure she will do much more in heaven. I will forever be grateful to have known Anju. She, she always wanted to make people happy. One of the most hilarious moments that I had with Anju was during an accounts class when the teacher said, pull up your socks, Annie, which meant that Anju should put more efforts on her studies. She took it in the literal sense and bent down to pull her socks up. We still laugh thinking about this incident. She was an animal lover and always loved to talk about her pets. Baking cakes was one of her hobbies and she loved to share it with her friends. Anju was a very cheerful friend, like a sunny day spreading brightness all around. There is a saying, friends walk in and out of your life, but true friends leave footprints in your heart. This is very true about Anju. You have proved it, my dear friend, and you will be always there in my heart. I'm happy to say that, Anju, you are the most beautiful flower in our garden of friendship and will remain the same. Life wouldn't be the same without you and you, all the memories you had given me. I would like to end this with a quoting which goes like this. Goodbye, my friend. I know you are gone, but I can still feel you here. It's not the end. You got to keep it strong before the pain turns into fear. Thank you. God loved her so very dearly. So he called her back early. Annie Jo's Wallaby was an angel and yet at the same time a very down-to-earth person. Even during her last days, she was very much engaged, spreading joy to all those who were with her. She may not have, be, have brought happiness to minds of millions, but to think of the fact that she could be so active, so enthusiastic, and be able to, be, to wear a beautiful smile, enough to make her near ones happy, even though she had her terrible headaches tormenting her. That's something so very amazing. The simplest thing is that we loved her, and now we miss her. I'm sure that when she left us, her eyes were closed and her heart was open. Though we might never see her, her thoughts, her memories, and her beautiful smile shall always be cherished. She will continue to live in our hearts. She will be the brightest star looking upon us from above, the north star of the Jayanthian sky. Thank you. Associate Director, Reverend Father Joby Vigetil CMI, Principal Mrs. Saji Vargas, family members of dear Ranju, members of PTA, teachers, and my dear students. May I exchange my heartiest gratitude to Anju's parents for having joined us here today in remembering Anju. Thanks to our director, Ronald Father Agustin Mambali, for having organized this beautiful memorial service in memory of our beloved Anju. I thank our associate director, Reverend Father Joby Vidyathail also, for extending his support and guidance in organizing this service. Heartfelt gratitude to our principal, Mrs. Saji Workers, without whose initiative the service would not have been possible, and our PTA presidents for being here today. Many thanks to the staff and students of RCJPS for their cooperation and support. We were all together in sorrow of our Anju and will continue to live in our hearts and we know she rests peacefully in God's heaven of peace and love. We shall always keep her spirit alive forever. Thank you. Let us glorify God through the grace of the Holy Spirit and give thanks to him, the giver of all gifts, for counting us worthy to approach the holy altar and to participate in these glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries. O oh Lord our God, in your mercy, you have given us this glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries for the forgiveness of sins. We are bound to offer your most blessed Trinity, everlasting praise and honor, thanksgiving and adoration for this gift. Lord of all, Christ, 
hope of mankind you have forgiven our debts sins and offenses through your glorious holy life giving and divine mysteries may this adorable gift from on high be blessed lord of all forever amen lord hear our prayer may our supplications reach your presence receive our sacrifices and offerings and pardon the offenses of the departed ones lord mercifully accept this sacrifice that we offer on behalf of your daughter anju as you accepted of abraham who put his trust in you of job who bore his afflictions patiently of elias your true prophet and of your disciples in the upper room accept this sacrifice as you accepted the widow's might make our departed daughter sister worthy to enter the heavenly bridal chamber together with the just who have done your will lord accept this sacrifice that we offer on behalf of your daughter anju forgive the debts and blot out the iniquities of this departed person and her loved ones merciful lord make this humble daughter worthy to dwell in the heavenly bridal chamber on your right side with the just ones remember this servant in that blessed and glorious place and grant anju happiness and eternal peace may she offer your divine trinity praise and honor thanksgiving and worship forever may all of you who have participated in the holy service be made worthy of the forgiveness of sins through the divine mercy lord our god pour out your abundant blessings on this congregation on the house of anju and on all of us now always and forever amen praise to you altar of sanctification praise to you remission of my sins i know not whether i shall come again to offer another sacrifice amen